Today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 most powerful players in Rise of Kingdoms because it's been three months since the last time we took a look at this list. What's going on, guys? Cheers. So the last time we were taking a look at the top 10 most powerful players in the game, it was the end of December, and I wanted to do a final list for 2021. And here we are at the end of March. I can't believe how quickly time has flown. And I think it's time to round out quarter one of 2022 and take a look at who the most powerful players are here in the game. Before we go any further, these videos do take a lot of research and looking into different kingdoms with the help of rockboard.com. So dropping a thumbs up on the video and subscribing to the channel is really greatly appreciated and with that being said let's jump right into number 10. coming in at number 10 we have perfume of mimi in kingdom 1175 who belongs to the alliance mimi also called excited mimi world so i'm starting to sense a trend here mimi is the germany civilization with 571 million power in rise of kingdoms we have 11.6 billion kill points we can take a look at the breakdown here it's about even 50 50 between t4 and t5 troops 5.4 billion kill points of t4 and 6 billion kill points for t5 if we take a look here at the achievements impulse spender makes a lot of sense for a player like perfume of mimi use up all the refresh chances in the mysterious merchant boutique gems galore we've got a lot of uh, a lot of flashy stuff here on the achievement mall for perfume of mimi taking a look at the album we can see that uh it looks like the player is playing a while at dinner we can see a really nice port what is that a lambo i don't i don't know what type of vehicle it is i don't know anything about cars okay this is probably more expensive than the car though for being honest kidding of course oh my god they have the vip staff that's actually insane i oh god i don't know what we're looking at here other than some gucci and some feet is this against the terms of service am i allowed to show this all you feet lovers out there anyway let's just move on we're taking a look at uh rise of kingdoms here on the uh on the tablet this looks like a what is this an ipad mini with the home button still so this is an older ipad mini it looks like it looks like they're at a bake shop too that's that's some nice stuff there we love to see that taking a look at the commander view we see lots of women here which we love to see we've got tamiris cleopatra sunduk artemisia manatore and then we've got of course Nebu and Zhang Yu, which are just two basically non-negotiable commanders that you need. Uh, they're just, they're insane. Okay. So this makes a lot of sense here. Um, they're all golden. They're all shiny. Uh, we don't get to see any of the talent builds or anything like that. Unfortunately on this player, uh, we see mostly archers here, honestly, except for Zhang Yu, of course. Um, but we see Tomi, Artemisia and Amanatori, all archers. So really interesting stuff there. Taking a look at the more info, we can see that perfume of Mimi's highest power ever was 602 to a million we can see they have 92 million dead troops and we can see the resource breakdown here with about 52,000 alliance help times moving on from number 10 we can take a look at number nine here on the list which we in fact all we have to do is scroll up to what is this Mimi's other account okay so this player has two accounts in the top 10 this is the first time that we've ever seen this before mimi has been a player of the game for a long time now but this is the first time that they have really made it into this video okay they've always been a powerhouse but running two accounts simultaneously is insane and so to have both of those accounts finally reach that top 10 mark is absolutely ridiculous so here we see flower of mimi sitting at 601 million power with 7.7 .7 billion kill points the breakdown is mostly t5 we have 2.6 billion t4 kill points uh, and 4.9 billion uh t5 kill points jumping into the more info we see that the highest power ever was 604 million we have 52 million dead troops here the resource breakdown with 112 thousand alliance helps so between the two accounts we've got almost 200,000 alliance helps which is insane and uh Mimi I think has a third account as well that didn't quite make the cut for this video but you can see some familiar things here uh you know obviously the impulse spender gem galore you know all that stuff let's take a look here in the album uh we can see we got some Fendi we've got some a horse okay Mimi is a horse owner apparently um more Gucci so this is starting to become a trend here uh this looks like some more rise of kingdoms while out and about okay there we go we can see the three different accounts that Mimi owns here on Instagram we've obviously got a archer account a cavalry account and a 
infantry account although once you end up in the top 10 uh, I think you probably have enough sculptures to start diversifying quite a bit moving forward we see uh even more rise of kingdoms with whatever it looks like there's always there's always baked goods or sweets involved here which honestly I can get I can get on board for that so that's awesome uh flower of Mimi also Germany civilization which is really cool stuff there we can take a look uh we already know the Alliance is also Mimi uh here we can see that this is uh I'm gonna guess the infantry account we see Pakal we see Chuk um Wu Zetian and Sunduk okay makes sense Suleiman and Honda interesting I wonder if maybe she just had sculptures and was just like I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna expertise them who cares so yeah two accounts in the top 10 I want you guys to make a prediction down in the comment section below if Mimi's two accounts were combined do you think that it would be more powerful than the number one player on this list go ahead and write it down in the comment section below I would love to hear from you is Mimi do you think the actual most powerful player in rise of kingdoms because of the multiple accounts interesting thing to think about with that being said let's move on to number eight on the list coming in at number eight we have none other than bt cyborg from kingdom 1916 in the alliance t2a the second agent if that sounds familiar that is because it is where your boy dragothian is if you guys don't know dragothian another content creator for rise of kingdoms he's a sponsored content creator insanely good videos over on drago's channel go ahead and check him out if you haven't already I i'm sure you have okay I i'm sure you have but anyway bt cyborg sitting at 611 million power with 3.5 billion kill points we can see that mimi over there has even more kill points on both accounts interesting stuff number eight here we've got 1.3 billion uh kill points for t4 2.2 billion uh kill points from t5 if we take a look at the more information section we can see that the highest power ever was 673 million that's insane this is a pretty large power drop which you know makes sense for a player that's probably going to fluctuate a ton when you're up in this uh in this in this caliber okay you're going to be fighting a lot we see 46 million dead troops and we got a bunch of resources here with the 26,000 alliance helps so honestly not that much compared to even my own account and you know Mimi and other other accounts that we might see here taking a look at the album we see some uh some superhero love it looks like whatever it takes okay cool I, I don't know what some of these I don't know who that is unfortunately we see Superman we're okay I'm familiar with Superman all right and then we've got uh we got what's got what is going on here I'm pretty sure I mean I, I didn't see the movie does does Captain America get the does he get the hammer am I gonna get a hate thread for this I I really have no idea I thought that was Thor's hammer right or is that like is there a moment I'm I'm missing something anyway taking a look at the commander view we get no information he has hidden everything from us but we do see uh Minamoto we see Pakal Nebu Harold and Gilgamesh so it looks like we're gonna be seeing uh probably some rallies coming out of this guy here with Pakal Harold that seems to be probably the case as well as a Gilga Nebu rally looks like that's what we've got set up here uh, as far as the combinations go taking a look at the achievement wall we have 10,000 units become severely wounded for reinforcing cities okay interesting I think BT cyborg just picked all the red ones <laughs> I think that's pretty much it maybe just the top the top five most rare red ones I I, I have no idea here but uh interesting stuff long range strike that's always a fun one we love to see that moving on to number seven we're going to take a trip over to kingdom 1258 with none other than boss Blake using the ninja Gaiden icon that is quite the icon I honestly I can't I still can't believe they did this why didn't they just put them in the game as commanders okay I feel like that would have been way cooler anyway boss Blake sitting at 612 million power a 1 million power difference from him and BT cyborg on the previous slot here we see 6.66 .66 billion kill points actually potentially the devil himself we can take a look at the breakdown here mostly t5 my boy targeting the golden troops out in the open fields 1.1 billion uh points from t4 and 5.5 billion uh kill points from t5 we see germany civilization once again ladies and gentlemen these top tier players love to play as germany sitting in the alliance uh knights of alada I'm not sure if I pronounced that right I do apologize let's take a look at the album here we can see um uh, boss Blake was the king so makes a lot of sense there okay Ooh. okay interesting wait 
is the is hang on excuse me is dark cookie and boss blake the same player because bitch what the fuck? somebody clarify that in the comments dark cookie if you're watching boss blake wh whatever your name is i would love some clarification in the comment section below let's take a look at the hall of heroes baby whoa we see look at those dead troops 13 million dead troops 6.5 coming back a pretty uh nice breakdown between calves and infantry mostly with 2.6 million archers as well this looks like back when they were the viking civilization so actually no we're gonna we're gonna drop a little heart on that one there oh my god look at those credits 289,000. what is my man doing it's like everything every time he opens it he probably already expertise the commander so he just gets 50 every single time that's insane how many times has he bought the bundle for this yo that's insane dude that's insane and you can see that he completely purchased all of the legendary commander sculptures sovereign keys almost everything here except for the three hour speed ups that is ridiculous let's take a look at the more info so highest power ever was 623 million that bro 74 million dead troops listen boss blake dark whatever your name is okay i don't know what you do for a living but you could hire your boy okay you, you, hit me up like i'm I, this is this is a lot of money okay this is six figures easy if not seven uh, on this game between all the accounts that apparently you own that's nuts we got some resource stuff down here we see only 10,000 alliance helps what's going on there is boss blake just not logged in at all i don't i don't know uh taking a look at the commander view we are unable to see anything everything is hidden uh we see saladin is the ranger interesting choice killing barbs with saladin um we've got guan yu emanatory zhang yu and zenobia so interesting choice so we don't see yss here does that mean that uh not using yss for garrison i don't really understand what the strategy is there but zhang yu guan yu makes a ton of sense that aoe in the open field is just so brutal man it's just so brutal and of course i'm anatory is uh is a queen and a savage all in her own right nothing on the achievement wall though so interesting stuff coming in at number six we can take a look at kingdom 1601 with the governor none other than flying baroness now this is another infamous player that a lot of you guys are probably familiar with if you've seen these most powerful uh, videos i've done these videos a few times over the last year or so flying baroness is always either in the top 10 or close an honorable mention this player sitting currently at 629 million power with 11.4 billion kill points absolutely ridiculous mostly t5 almost double the t5 is t4 we have 4 billion kill points for t4 and 7.2 billion for t5 rock in the france civilization so a little bit different than the germany we've been seeing from a lot of these players but i love france i'm france myself so it makes a lot of sense maybe i'm a little bit biased but this is the highest power ever for flying baroness which is ridiculous okay this player has 92 almost 93 million dead troops We've got some resource statistics here 51,000 alliance helps really awesome stuff let's take a look at the album nothing sitting there on the album anything crazy here for the achievement wall hitting 25 sunset canyon yada yada that's all pretty basic stuff honestly um stone three and olympia season two I don't think people really care too much about olympia to be honest with you guys uh take a look at the commander view we see lohar rocking in the ranger slots and sarka as supply captain really not sure what the strategy is there where is sunduk and even if you're gonna put a blue here i would not pick sarka constance is a better choice in my opinion but hey it is what it is we see saladin zenobia guan yu and zhang yu sitting on the commander view here which makes sense unfortunately all of the details have been hidden but a zhang yu rally makes sense okay it's zhang yu like what what are you gonna do of course it's gonna be zhang yu saladin is a little bit interesting here i would i think that one percent extra attack would probably rather go to a commander that you would pair with zhang yu or maybe even guan yu right um doesn't seem to be his strategy here but we do see zenobia so you know that this uh this player does have probably zenobia yss as well so rallying captain Gar garrison captain uh flying baroness can pretty much do it all i mean and when, when you have that power and you have those kill points like 
uh, obviously, right? It makes sense. Really unique uh, icon here. No, no avatar frame or anything like that. It's just like a uh, year of the tiger type of thing over here. It says flying Baroness 1601. I, I don't, it looks like a roulette wheel, to be honest with you. That's what, that's those are the vibes I'm getting. It looks like there's some dice over here. Maybe I have no idea what we're looking at, but there's definitely a tiger and it really looks golden and badass. coming in at number five. We have Yoda 808 who used to be in kingdom 2322 as of at least March 17th. I have no idea where they migrated to. They are no longer in 2322, but we do have footage of their profile from my live stream from the other day. This was Justin who was actually in chat and did donate to the charity for that live stream. So thank you again, Justin. Not only are they spending their money on rise of kingdoms, but also on a good cause. So that's awesome. Justin, if you're watching what, uh, drop it in the comment section below, where, where'd you go, bro? Where did you go? You're not in 2322 anymore. I'm curious. You are number five on the list here though. So this is as of March 17th, Yoda had 828 million power. Um, if he has more than this, maybe he's number four on the list, but I can't check right now. Cause I have no idea what kingdom Yoda is in at the time rocking the Germany civilization with 3.5 billion kill points. Uh, I think this player is a little bit newer than some of the other players we've seen on this list before taking a look at his kill point breakdown. It's pretty even 1.8 billion from T4, 1.6 billion from T5. And unfortunately during the live stream, it looks like I didn't take a look at his more info or his commander screen. I would be willing to bet that this is his highest power ever, but I don't know what commanders he is rocking. So I unfortunately have failed you guys, but guys, but guys, you know, Justin, if you're watching, let us know in the comment section below what kingdom we're in. Maybe we'll be able to take a look at your account a little bit more in depth in the future. I did take a look at his city. Okay. We got to look at the little organization here. It was okay. It, it could have been a little bit better, but it was fine. I think it was acceptable. Okay. Clearly he's more focused on uh, building up the army. Okay. That's, that's where his, that's where all of his time and effort is going into. He doesn't really care too much about the layout of the city, but it's, it's fine. I think it's okay. Coming in at number four is dark cookie. We saw this player earlier in the video. Uh, this player is in kingdom 1860, but apparently is also boss Blake from number seven on the list. And if that's the case, then combining both of those players accounts surely would be the most powerful player in the game right maybe potentially i would love to hear you in the comment section below especially because dark brownie is number two here with 517 million in this kingdom like and dark oreo as well like what my man's spending like millions on the game that's great that's if you're if this if this is all the same player i don't know it could potentially not be i have no idea the album for dark cookie is set to private we have 863 million power 5.4 billion kill points here with dark cookies account 1.49 billion t4 and 3.9 billion t5 rocking the ottoman empire different than what we've seen from pretty much everybody else here on the list nothing crazy here uh in, in the achievement wall honestly um if we take a look here highest power ever is exactly what they're at right now 67.6 million dead troops some resource statistics for you guys and only 11,000 alliance helps is that right does dark cookie just not hit the help button i don't really understand what's going on there the commander view is private but we can see um the amanatore guan yu honda is the ranger not sure what's going on there maybe just to flex him a little bit we see zhang yu and zenobia so a lot of stuff we've seen familiar here we see a lot of these commanders here a lot of zhang yu's a lot of guan yu's a lot of mandatory and zenobia okay that makes a lot of sense and if you guys are new to the game that should tell you right that these are probably some of the commanders you want to invest in maybe not the garrison commanders but certainly guan yu and most likely zhang yu as well they're just insanely open field so much aoe damage we love to see it uh, honda's got some aoe as well but not necessarily necessarily uh the commander you would want to invest in as free to play in my opinion maybe that changes i don't know now what i want to know is that if dark cookie is the same player as dark brownie and dark oreo and it's also the same player as boss blake why would they start the boss blake account in a different server right because boss blake was in 1258 so is the dark cookie dark dessert line of accounts here is this something that is still active i'm really curious to know why they would start playing a new account in a new server does this have something to do with 
the refund scandal going on I I have no idea if you have more if you guys have more information about dark cookie and and these this series of accounts I would be you know curious to know drop that in the comments section below coming in at number three we've got a player who goes by the name madness uh, I guess I guess that's how this is translated a member of kingdom 1912 this player is sitting at 974 million power with 2.8 billion kill points what's going on there is this a new player how what like hello 1.2 billion tier four kills 1.6 billion t5 kills my bad i mean obviously i'm not one to i'm not one to judge okay i've got basically zero kill points if we're being honest but like i don't know it just feels like a you know third strongest player in the entire freaking game you would think probably would have a little bit more than that right odd okay this is odd to me take a look at the highest power ever pretty much sitting there at this point we've got 28 million dead troops some resource uh gathered an assistant 65,000 alliance helps so i don't think this is a new player i don't think it is i think they've been around for a while if they have something like that as far as alliance helps go but you never know taking a look at the photo album there is nothing there they're rocking the arabia civilization which makes sense if we take a look here and see some rally commanders which we do so we see nebu guan yu zhang yu all uh, commanders that could be uh rally commanders a little bit less of guan yu these days um we see nevsky here as well as the ranger which is boy what are you doing with nevsky if he's your ranger but anyway maybe he was trying to level him up and that's and and that's why i don't know probably not a man is an iron one for season two of olympia interesting stuff there and yeah i don't know uh i don't know what else to take a look at on this profile it looks like the commanders are locked we can't even we can't even see anything it's all hidden he doesn't want us to know moving on to number two on the list we have you probably probably guessed it Baba TC out of Turk this player has been shown on these types of videos forever okay Baba is considered um, one of the best if not the best player in rise of kingdoms at this point I mean sure he's number two on the list but look at those kill points 22 almost 23 billion kill points on Baba's account with over 1 billion total power absolute insanity highest power ever 1.2 billion we see 144 million dead troops absolute war machine we see lots of resources here but 78 almost 79 thousand alliance helps my man is constantly fighting we see the ottoman empire civilization sitting in the vietnam victory uh, alliance in kingdom 1636. take a look at the album it looks like not too much has changed here we know baba loves the motorcycles the cars he's got the suits okay he's got that uh i'm not well i don't know what this is um i don't know is this like a book or a movie i don't really i would love some insight uh on this so B baba if you're watching what's going on here let me know in the comment section below or anybody who who knows this turkish japanese friendship thing interesting stuff there taking a look at the commander view we do see guan yu zhang yu gilgamesh amanatore and Cao Cao interesting choice there for the ranger makes sense okay he makes sense if bob is going to kill some barbs he's going to use a legendary and it's going to be one that deals extra damage to him uh let's take a look we can see the talents here for baba i don't know if he's really changed these too much since the last time we were taking a little peek in here but uh yeah this makes sense okay this makes sense we see some rally commanders here we've got gilgamesh we got zhang yu some real nice rally stuff we got amenatory if we're seeing some garrisoning by baba as well which is totally possible um we see guan yu it's just guan yu okay if you guys are watching these videos and you're not investing in guan yu like what are you doing everybody invests in him because he's so good this is a good talent build i don't know if i would necessarily get feral nature for guan yu but who am I to tell Baba what to do with his talent points okay he's got 23 billion kills he's probably fine he's chilling okay he's also the the general right now which is pretty cool stuff finally ladies and gentlemen coming in at number one we have Maverick L now this is a player you guys know him I know him everybody sort of knows Maverick as the number one player when it comes to power here in Rise of Kingdoms we see 1.38 billion power with 6.3 billion kill points 
also rocking the Germany civilization, probably the most common civilization here throughout this video. We've got no album here on Maverick. You know, it's always been the case. Uh, highest power ever was 1.4 billion. So he's lost about a hundred million power probably during some sort of KVK over a hundred million dead troops, which is pretty impressive. That's some pretty decent stuff there. We see 16,000 Alliance helps Maverick. What are you doing, bro? you're not hitting the button man what you, you're not helping the alliance what's going on dude what what i mean this this account's been around for a long time i feel like you should probably be helping the alliance a little bit more than that anyway take a look at the commander view we see obviously max nevsky obviously you're gonna see that okay we got zhang yu we got guan yu we got yadviga as well interesting there with the yadviga honestly not something that i would personally expect um obviously tau tau ethel fled makes sense here i don't really understand this why are we doing this with Ethel Flood? Is that is that your gatherer? Are you gathering with Ethel Flood? Is, 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 there's like a bunch of other options there. Not sure. Honestly, let's be real. Is he gathering? Probably not too much. Okay, probably not too much. But ladies and gentlemen, that is your number one still most powerful player in Rise of Kingdoms, which means Mimi's accounts do not add up, meaning her two accounts that you saw in this video still not stronger than maverick it would add up to about what uh 1.1 uh, billion something like that so mimi would fall in at number two and then we're still not sure is dark cookie and boss blake the same player if that's the case that would technically make him the most powerful player in the game if you combined those accounts but I'm not really sure what's going on there but anyway guys that's gonna do it if you made it to the end of the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe to the channel it really helps out the channel a ton and hit that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video i would love to hear your thoughts and comments on these most powerful players in the comments section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been on i will talk to you guys again soon peace